two of the most popular Anxiety. characters. So if there's one thing about the early team's meta I can say so far, uh, is that Palutena is very popular. Not only is Palutena very popular, she's very good. Mm -hmm. She's, uh, her holiness is here, and she is hitting that A button really hard. It's about time, man. I'm saying, man. <laughs> she endured it. We needed, we needed some saving. And I'm glad that they kind of mixed up the, her specials a little bit, kind of combined some of them and then make them so she has a lot more options. Right? Yeah, so she's, she had explosive flame before. She did as, as a custom. Move, right, exactly. Explosive flame did not function, I don't think, function the same way it did in this game. But. And she had a reflect for her original side beam. We didn't free the custom. Yeah. So. She, she just feels like a lot more of a solid character, nonetheless. Yeah, she has a camp game, she has a win neutral button, a really good recovery. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, Don and Light on top right now, uh, at least in the early going. But the sense, pretty even across the board right now. Now this seems to be able to come out with the lead. I like that hit coming out from Light. Force, uh, Jen off the stage, but can make it back nice and sound. Mr. E holding on the stage from there, or rather for, for the buzz, but you know, it's kind of a scrap for now. Yeah, the buzz still hold on to this first stock. They're just trying to get something yeah. going. But the big thing that I see that's kind of like rough right now is that um, Mr. E's having a hard time just like getting back to help the buzz. That's something I've seen. Uh, at least between the, the early sets uh, between Light and Don is that they're really good at just kind of dungeoning off your right. uh, partner so that they can't help you. Right. I like the way that Don pressures on the ledge, right? Kind of does his full hops and he fades back down. He's kind of waiting for you to pick something, he's trying to react. But the buzz more privy to that idea and just getting up and doing explosive play, managing the pack and while jumping. Yep. This where he gets the back air out of shield though, so that first stock finally gonna drop for Don. So everybody on their second stock here, Mr. Oh. E. Oh, Lord! And the re great reversal right there um, from the blue team right there. The Buzz sniping out that side beat from Fox. Perfectly timed as well. Landing that down and deleting the stock. Now we see uh, Harry coming out from my believe it was light. No punish? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Ooh. Pass back to the light. Just wasn't ready to get that conversion. Yeah, qu again, quick little team combo. You got to make the most of those as you can. Right. Like, you're not going to get a whole lot of those without it, it, at least in, like, a 2v2 situation. So you definitely have to capitalize on those on those uh, comebacks as soon as early as you can. And I think that's one of the great things about uh, Light and Dawn's team, right? If Mario and Fox work so well together in terms of that kind of the handoff back and forth. You get the back air, he does the back air. You go back air, back air, nair, nair, whatever. They make it really easy to pass to each other. But I'm having to think about it while some other characters have more like nuanced aerial. By the way, Don had one of the best roll reads I've ever seen in my entire life. And the unfortunate uh, back air right there from Mr. E going for the follow up on, uh, on Don. Or light, I probably remember which one, but basically hitting the buzz as well. So yeah. Now uh I'll I'll be a slight lead, but a lead for the uh for the yellow team right now. I wonder if they're gonna be able to pull this off here. Dawn at 120. But still sitting on two stocks. He should be going down yep. fairly soon. I'm just wondering how they're gonna get the KOs, right? Because we really want to think about how is the blue team getting their KOs. I think I've seen maybe a few uh, too explosive flame, but otherwise it largely has to be out of smash attacks or even edge guarding. Ooh, that right was there. a nice counter though. That's definitely one way to do. It. Like you said, edge guarding being huge right here. I don't know, it just seems kind of like a lot of like there's a lot of holes in the, in the team follow-ups from the right. blue team right now. So now we got a 2v1 on deck, and Mr. E sitting at uh, the very scary kill percent right now for both these uh, characters. Number seven, he's trying to swing. We go ahead and get a three right there. Gonna run up and up smash, and yeah. And I love the awareness there from Don to go for the pummels. You can never play too safe. Right. Any percent is good percent. As the yellow team comes out on top right now, and I gotta say, I love this new costume for Mario. My man put the hard hat on. He's going to work right now, Flambo. I'm like, I like this costume. I did, part of me feels sad because my favorite color was the Fire Mario outfit. I'm actually shocked they got rid of that. And they put a, what, it's like the, the Tuxedo Mario, which is yeah. also fresh to death. But I'm just I'm like, saying. man, I wish I had wish I had them all. Yeah, it's like, just give, come on, man. Give us like 10 alternates. We got 80 characters in the game. Dude, you can't I'm, give us like an extra like two costumes. I always say like, uh, out of all the games, you know, people complain about uh, all the DLC costumes you get in different games. But I'm like, give me like a, if, if it was a DLC costume season pass, I'd pay for it. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, Smash is just one of those games where you have so many characters that just, like, have all these outfits that people want. Like, I remember when Link didn't have the Fierce Deity outfit, or, like, I'm like, since Melee? I think he didn't have it, and I think he got yeah. it in Brawl. It was either Brawl or Smash 4. He got it in Smash 4. I don't think Smash he got it. Smash 4, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. It was like, oh, everyone was hyped. It was like, oh, we've been waiting for this for a super long time. There's just so many, like, outfits like that that I'd love to see from some of the other characters. Yeah, man. So, ooh, are we going to get a change of songs here? Oh, yeah, please. I actually love when. Hey, yes. Okay, this is a good one, Tom. Right. Get some hype. <laughs> <laughs>
He was yeah, ba Brawl had some bangers. Like, I, I'm saying, I'm contested. I actually just beat World of Lights. So I'm finally able to customize my menu music. Dude, that is the death of me. That is the one thing I need. I hate, I've heard the default theme too many times. But I'm like, I gotta play like 80 hours of this. To like, <laughs> Got the true ending without even trying. <laughs> Bars. Anyway, this could potentially be the last game for Mr. Ian to buzz. So let's see if uh, Don and Light can finish their plates or if we'll see a game three. My God, that did far more damage than I've ever played. Ah! <laughs> Never gets old, man. We'll drop a jab. Prem Fox, uh, you know, despite the fact that the voice clip can get tilting at times, adds up a good chunk of damage. <laughs> that poor guy, I think, get paid enough. <laughs> I know. Needless to say, uh, already Ooh. very quick lead right now um, for their yellow team. And Don setting up those uh, kind of, I guess, ladder combos that were kind of used to Smash 4 with the up air, up air, up air strings, trying to go for the forward air, not finding that. But now holding the side here, we have some weird offstage play here. Ooh. Oh, Lord! That is not the way they wanted that one to go. <laughs> go off, King! Yeah. As Light gets the up smash to kill both Mr. E and uh, the Buzz. Sweet. I'm and so was... happy he has that uh, for the tag as well. Yeah. <laughs> go off, King! Please! Yeah, so right now, the reversal of fortune coming into favor of the blue team right now, at the very least. They do have some room to work with. Uh, and safe positioning. Oh, that's so hard to deal with. When you see Lucina doing that short hop Nair fade back, like all you want to do is get up, you won't catch it. You try to roll in, it'll catch it. It's very hard move Whoa. to deal with. Whoa! I don't know what happened right there. I think Mr. E definitely air dodge an SD. So. The, unfortunate, the unfortunate air dodge uh, will result in the, uh, the stock deficit for the blue team right now. The blue team needs to fight back now. So the semis not lose their finals, which means it should be best of three. So they cannot afford to lose this game. All right, so Don and Light, uh, Duck trying to get out of disadvantage right now. And Mr. E and uh, the Buzz overcommitting a little bit on the edge guard, so they are able to get back to center stage. And now the damage continuing to build up again. Mr. E, oh, there's a close losing to stock. Oh, Light goes for it, and why not? Yeah, you know, it is crazy. At first, I thought he was going to go for the footstool, and I think he might have actually have tried to go for it and just mistimed it and got the double jump. And I was like, he definitely planned on doing that while being able to recover. But then it was like, oh, I'm this slow anyway. May as well just trade the stock. There we go. Another quick little 2v1 combo coming out from Light and Don. Again, just any any damage at this point is good damage right now. Because right now you have the lead. You know, it's all about just finishing the race right now. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself, too, but any damage is good damage. You just, you're a happy camper. You know what? You're about to get your tender foot. You're making your way up the ranks. You're happy. <laughs> Ooh, you see Light once again going for Baroque right there with the, the shine kill. Oh. Forward smash meets his mark, though, so Don's sitting on his last stock, so a little bit of a, a chip away right now in the, the big picture of things for the blue team. Yeah, yellow team uh, looking still fairly strong, but they knew to keep themselves together. Having us with a bit of a kerfuffle in the center stage here. Who will come out on top? Look like no one, really. They're, they're still going back and forth. They're scuffing it out, man. I've never seen a brawl. This is one. Oh, I thought it was going to be an smash. Yeah, that could have been really scary. F tilt going to provide cover for the buzz right there. Again, both of uh, Lucy players sitting on their last licks right now. And now, uh, it's last lock situation. So this is very doable uh, for the blue team right now if they play their cards right. And they need to be very careful. Need to watch out from the back of some like You know, going to start spacing those OD right now. And you see Mr. E and the buzz getting a little bit of a, a 2v1 combo right there as well. Okay. See, they're trying to rack up a little more damage. They actually have a good amount of percent racked up already. A little 40 to 50 more. They have a good chunk of rage. As I say that, Mr. E getting sent out the blast zone. A handoff. Ooh. Ooh. Then time to down smash. Yeah, a little rough on the angle right there. I'm not sure how much that's changed from the last game. Oh. There we go. Reads the jump at the back air. There we go. Don and Light moving on to losers finals. The buzz and Mr. E eliminated. And you guys see Samuel the Buzz Buzzby shaking his head a little bit there. And But what I do like... Uh, for better or worse, I mean, I guess this is really uh, relative to perception, but I like that Light and Dawn gave themselves a fist bump first before going to yeah, their, uh, no, their sure. opponent. It's like, it's Wholesome. Like, good job, man. Like, we, we did it. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like uh, a good chunk of teams, especially uh, toward the, the latter end, like the lower level where people who aren't really like making their top 16s or top 32s or whatever, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times you're just kind of teaming with someone that you may not know super well, or yeah. may, maybe might be your friend, who knows? It really depends. Sometimes people drop out and you're just with a random dude, uh, and you feel as if like you don't really know them and you find yourself getting frustrated, but at the end of the day, we're just here to have fun, man. Good stuff, man. Speak for yourself, I'm trying to win. Come yeah. on, <laughs> screw fun. Oh, be dubs only here. Scoopa don't play that <laughs> game. That's a wrap. I'm saying, man.